Smart Ink is one of the tools that comes with Smart Learning Suite, which includes Smart Notebook, Response 2, Lab, and AMP. These are the main applications that run on our Smart Interactive Flat Panels for Education. At their core, Smart Panels are meant to facilitate collaboration and interactive learning in the classroom. Smart Ink enables you to write on top of digital content just as easily as you would write on paper. Here we have a web page, and I'll use this pen to write over it. As you can see, Smart Ink doesn't permanently affect your digital content. You can move the ink anywhere on the page. Additionally, your ink is going to stay in place with the content, meaning you can scroll, move the window, or minimize and restore your window, and your ink stays in place. So how do you start using it? To start drawing, all you need to do is pick up a pen. Did you notice this icon that appeared after I picked up the pen? This is the Smart Ink Dynamic Toolbar, which provides you with a variety of tools you can use in class. When you first pick up a pen and open the Dynamic Toolbar, it appears minimized, just showing the Smart Ink icon. Also, each pen has its own toolbar, with the color of the toolbar matching the color of the pen. You might notice a third icon, a hand. This is part of Smart Ink and we call it the Smart Touch Inking Tool. It gives you all of the same capabilities of your pens except you can use your finger or an accessibility aid. You also have the option to change the function from a touch to a pen. As you can see, the pen's dynamic toolbar appears in the same spot each time you pick up a pen. If you don't like the location of the toolbar, you can easily move it. I'm going to move this one off to the side so that it's not in my way as I work. Now so far, you've only seen the toolbar in its minimized state. There's actually a lot more to this toolbar if you expand it. To view the toolbar in full mode, simply press it. Now you can access all of Smart Inc's tools. Let's take a quick look at each one and see what they can do. This is the full dynamic toolbar. Here you see the pen tool. From here I can change the pen settings such as color and line thickness. Now say I really like this pen style and can see myself using it a lot. I can add it to my favorites for quick access. I just open the toolbar back up and tap the star to begin adding a new favorite tool. Other than pens, you can set stamps and other tools you use frequently as Smart Ink favorites for quick and easy access. Let's continue taking a look at what else is in the toolbar. Here you have the presenting tools. This one is the spotlight tool. You can use it to draw attention to an area of the screen. This one is the magnifying tool. As you can probably guess, you can use this one to magnify certain areas of your screen. Here we have the screen shade tool. You can use it to slowly reveal content of your screen. Here we have a screen capture tool. You can use it to quickly capture a picture of your screen. Then you can save it to your desktop or in a notebook file. It's a tool you can quickly use to save any inking that you have done. You can write in digital ink using the panel's pen and then use this ink to text tool to convert the digital writing to text. For example, let's navigate to smarttech.com. The last presentation tool is the stamp pad. It's a fun tool that lets you reinforce ideas, correct student work, and reward students' achievements, and so on. Let's pull up a document to use this on. To use this tool, just select a stamp and place it anywhere you want. You can even create your own stamps by uploading an image of the stamp.
Because Smart Ink is an overlay, you can select any of your digital ink and move it around. Now I've kind of made a mess of my screen, haven't I? I can race specific areas of my screen by using my fist, or I can use the Smart Ink Window Tools button and select Clear Ink to clear it all. Thank you for watching this quick overview of getting started with Smart Ink. If you would like to learn more about what I've just shown you or what else you can do, visit the Smart Ink support page on smarttech.com support.